All right, today we're at Kicking Horse uh, Grizzly Bear Interpretive Centre. So we're about to go on a chairlift and head up the mountain. We are on the way. So we went to the wrong chairlift. We're now walking over to the other one. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're... Grizzly Bear Refuge. <laughs> so it does. Look at that. Grizzly Bear Refuge. So of course Janie and I, we went to the nice chairlift and this is, uh, which was a fully enclosed one. And this one's like the open, open ones that you pull the bar down. Um, been a long time since we've been on one of these. It's, you, yeah, it's been about 10, 10, well, more than 10 years. Probably. Uh, 21 years. Yeah. So and this, so this should be fun. Hi guys, moment of your time. Janie and I recently made a commitment to give half of our income from YouTube to a charitable trust with regard to cancer research or helping people and families coping with uh, cancers. Now of course it's one thing to promise that you're going to do something and it's another thing to actually be able to do it. This is where you guys come in. You can help us to achieve that goal. There's five things you can do to help us. The first and most important thing that you can do is watch the video all the way through to the end. The second thing you can do is like the video. The third thing, which is the big one, subscribe. Fourth thing, leave a comment. And the last thing, which is really difficult and I don't expect too many of you to be able to do it, is to go back and watch all of the other content that we have. All right, let's get back and watch the video. All right, so here we are on the chairlift heading up the hill. Been a very, very long time since we've done one of these. <laughs> so, uh, there yes, it is. prior to having children. Yes, actually. Well, no, I did it once with Danielle. Yeah, I didn't. And she was very little. Yeah, two years old. Yeah, I might be able to dig up a photograph of that and stick it on. Well, we can photograph. Yeah. yeah. So that'll 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 show how long ago this was, because our daughter now, when she would have been three or four, when two. Two! I took her skiing when she was two and went down the mountain with her on my shoulders when she was two. Yes. Boy, I was a good skier back then. <laughs> All right, so she's 20. One. What, 21 now? Soon. Yeah. So here we go. We're heading up. I don't know where we get off. It's about halfway up the mountain, apparently, and then we've got to go do some walking. So here we go. All right, so the gondola is over on that side there. Um, and we're at the cheap asses, so we're on the chairlift. So the gondola goes all the way up to the top of the mountain and to get to the Grizzly Bear Interpretive Centre, you get off halfway up and then you walk across to the Grizzly Bear side. Whereas the chairlift takes you directly to the Grizzly Bear side. So we and didn't- And they even go further up to the restaurant up the hill. On the gondola they do, yeah, that's right, yep. Um, but we weren't going to go all the way up to the top of the hill because we are uh, limited with our time. So we're just going directly to the Grizzly Bear Centre and hopefully we get to see Boo, Boo the grizzly who bear. is the Grizzly Bear. Um, so, here we go. Uh, don't think I've got anything else to say about where we're going on this. The thing is $59 for the, for the other one and $39 for just the bear? Okay. Yeah, it's something like that anyway. So if you want to go up the top of the hill and have a meal at the restaurant, um, it's about 60 bucks. And that includes the uh, grizzly bear thing. And if you just want to do the grizzly bear thing, then it's um, $39. So I think it's worth it. So far it's worth it. Wouldn't it be lovely in winter with everybody skiing through here? Notice they've got mountain bike trails as well. So yeah, they have a lot of trails. A lot of people here <clears> biking. Yeah, a lot of people biking. A lot of lot of mountain bike trails. A lot of hiking trails, and of course it's a um, a ski field as well. Um, and if you can see all the gaps in the trees, that I'm presuming is where all the runs are. And they look, look pretty pretty good actually. Not as bad as our mountainous ones in New Zealand. Yeah, here we go. And in summer, this is in summer, and it's very cold. 
It is quite cold, yes. Um, I had to button up my outside shirt, which I normally don't do. And Jamie, of course, is, is highlighting her heavyweight, um, not designer jacket. <laughs> okay, so we're halfway up and it's stopped. Now I hope it's not like a really, really long power cut because I need to pee. <laughs> oh. You can easily pee from here. Yeah. Well. I can't. <laughs> so usually they only stop for you know a couple of minutes so hopefully we'll be on the go again shortly all right so we managed to get off the chairlift without not falling on our asses it's a lot easier to get off uh, when you're skiing because obviously you just slide off and down the down the ramp but when you're walking you gotta run gotta run you gotta run so oh, it doesn't kick in the ass <laughs> so here we are Kicking Horse Grizzly Bear Refuge. big boy um, but going back to you know compared to the coastal grizzlies um, because they have a lot more access to animal protein namely fish so out on the coast obviously especially all the salmon you know the salmon runs um, they get a lot bigger they can get up to about 1500 1, he looks a bit smaller compared to some yeah now he is you know he's st he's starting to put on the weight now is this in there that's pretty cool that is really close. You can see that big hump on his back. That's yeah, a distinguishing yeah. feature of a grizzly that yep. you can tell the difference between, say, like a black bear and a grizzly. Amongst other things, but that's one of the main things. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, those people. He looks, a bit, he looks a bit bigger when he's this close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's fantastic. So he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll put on another almost... 300 pounds, you know, winter, yeah. two, 200 to 300 before hibernation. He's eating, uh, he's eating about 30,000 calories a day right now. Wow. <laughs> it's a wow. lot of food. A lot of food. And at his max, he'll be about 50,000 calories. Yeah. Is that, the is entire that thing. Okay, yeah, this morning I think they gave him a full <laughs> watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he's hungry enough that he's coming back for the rind. <laughs> he's got to, got to build up. Yeah, he has been pretty much constantly eating these days. I, I was away for the past month, so um, there's a significant difference between a month ago and now and how much he's eating. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I, t I tell you, to, to, to pay $39 yeah. to come up yeah. and get this close oh, it's, yeah. is, is... Like, you're never going to see a bear like this out in the wild. No. That's for no. sure. Well, you hope not. You don't want to. <laughs> no. You definitely don't want to. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like, to be able to be this close and see, like, how big those claws are, yeah. you know, you get to see, like, his facial expressions and things like that. It's a pretty unique opportunity. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. 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 All right, so um, we've been up here for an hour. Boo came out, he sat there, ate a watermelon. Um, we've had an absolutely fantastic view of, of Boo. Um, he's about 22 years old now. He was, um, 
His mother was shot by a hunter and the two cubs were taken by the hunter. Uh, they ended up being rescued when they were uh, one year old and uh, the two cubs uh, came up to here uh, when they were two. One of them, one of them had a, had a hernia. Carry intestine something. Twisted intestines and passed away during the first hibernation and then booze remained here since then. What an absolutely fantastic uh, place to come and visit. Well worth the time, well worth the, the, the little tiny amount that you pay which goes towards um, making sure that Boo is kept well fed in, in the enclosure here. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if you get an opportunity, definitely come up and do this. Uh, uh, just outside Golden in British Columbia. Chairlift heading back down after an absolutely fantastic encounter with the bear. So, um, out of all the things that we've seen, how's this one ranking for you? You have mosquito repellents? No. Well, lots and lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you rank this, excluding the mosquitoes, out of, well, out of, out of 10? If there is no mosquitoes, it will be a 10. But because of the mosquitoes, it drives me insane. So it's a 9.5. I'll give it maybe an 8. <laughs> okay, I give it an 11. It is far, far um, uh, in excess of the uh, the money that you pay for it. The, the, the what do they call it? The, the, um, the ratio of um, cash to experience uh, is extremely good value. Yeah, uh, and he seems very happy, the bear. The bear is very happy. Ha well, you know, eating and looking at us. You get you get to eat watermelon and apples all day long. You know, I'd be happy too. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic experience. If you get the uh, opportunity to come and do this, 100% do it. If you don't do it, you're silly. Frankly. Make sure you bring mosquito repellents up there. That would be the only thing that I would recommend that you do is, yeah, bring your can of mosquito repellent. And if you if you bring a can of mosquito repellent, you might be able to charge everybody up there like five bucks each to use it, so you'd get your money back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would pay for it if someone were to offer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.